Hello, dear doers, and welcome to this video on credit notes. First of all, what is a credit note? A credit note is used to notify customers that they've been credited for some reason. The most common reason that we use them here at Bloom is if they want to return a product or if they received a damaged product. So since a credit note is decreasing the amount that a customer owes, the journal entry of a credit note is essentially the opposite of that of an invoice with the debit in the income account and the credit in the account receivable. Let's take a look at it in Odoo. So here we are on our Odoo dashboard and the first thing we'll do is open the accounting app and we're going to look at the configuration of our sales journal. Here we have the option to create a dedicated credit note sequence. If enabled, this will separate the sequences of invoices and credit notes and add an R to the, the beginning of the short code that is set here for the credit notes. For example, RINV instead of INV. Next, we'll create a credit note. And while that is possible through the credit notes menu item below customers, we're actually going to instead go to one of our invoices directly. We can see on this invoice that it has been posted, but we have not yet received any payment for it, so it's currently unpaid. Now, let's say that Acres Lawn Care has reached out to us to say that one of their tomato plants was unfortunately dead on arrival, but they don't need a replacement, and because of that, and we really want to keep them as a customer, we're happy to offer them a credit note. To do that, we can simply click on the credit note button. And we now have a few options. First, we'll enter a reason displayed on the credit note. So I'll just say here, damaged goods. And next, we have the option to select a journal. One of the benefits of going through the invoice instead of creating a credit note by itself is that this is already populated with the same sales journal that this invoice is in. Next, we have our reversal date, and I'll just leave that as today. And finally, we have the option to simply reverse or to reverse and create invoice. I'm going to select the suggested option, reverse, and by clicking reverse, we will have a credit note in the draft state, and we can choose what exactly we want to be credited. The other option, reverse and create invoice, would fully reverse the original invoice and then create a new invoice that we could adjust to have only the undamaged goods. So with reverse and create invoice, we actually have three documents, the original invoice, the full credit note, and the new invoice. But with this option to reverse, we'll only need two documents, the original invoice and the partial credit note for the single damaged plant. So here we have our editable credit note in the draft status. We'll remove all of the products except for just one of the tomato plant. Now we can confirm this credit note. And since in this case, the customer hadn't already paid, we don't need to actually pay out a refund. And this credit note is automatically marked as paid. We can see through the info icon here that it was paid by reconciling this amount directly with the original invoice, which we can access either here or through the chatter. Back on the original invoice, we can see that it's been marked as partially paid, and we see another info icon here explaining that the amount of just one tomato plant was paid by the credit note. So even though they haven't actually paid us any money for this invoice yet, everything is transparent and everything is easy to understand. Lastly, we do also have a note in the chatter linking back to that credit note. So our customers are going to be thrilled now that we can handle credit notes directly from their invoices. And of course, their credit notes are available alongside their invoices in the customer portal. By keeping our customers happy, we'll be sure that they keep coming back for more. That's all for this video from your pal Dow. I'll see you in the next one.